round 15 v Collingwood at Telstra Dome. Must have been very happy with this one and the whole club to get a good win over the Pies on Friday night football. Well, it was dangerous. It was a big occasion Friday night. It was only a six-day recovery. Collingwood had all their good players. Well, you know, they're, they're, the team nearly uh, at full strength and were coming back from Perth, which is what teams found really difficult to do the year before. So there was a lot of reasons that uh, you could have thought we could, may have dropped this game, but we didn't. Uh, another very solid performance. Boundary throw it right half forward. King in front. Fraser works him under the football. King did well. Corey taken down. Slips it away. Bartell hurriedly. Chopped off by Clement. Out of there by Mackey towards the boundary line. Davis did nicely. Loney got it to Johnson. Clement has to wait. Now he's got a problem. Well picked up by Cole. Pops it up though. Kingsley inside the attacking 50. Grab it back to Chapman. Chapman snaps. It's good. The opening goal. Corey's in there, tackled by Buckley Mooney again to Riccardi on that lethal left foot. He gets it off to King from right on the 50. A stand to deliver shot by the captain is good. Geelong get their second. Stolen away by oh, Cole. This is getting farcical. Cole, hand passes out. Burns went to ground. Not so out. Did he get through? Cole got him to Bartell. Bartell snaps and gets the goal. Quite a young player. Looking for Corey behind the pack. Davis got rid of it somehow. Sanderson picks it up, kicks the half forward. Johnson, good mark, under pressure. Cole there, step for step. Johnson, shielding the drop of the ball, did well. A lot of space for Geelong forwards. Movement comes from Graham, goes, I think, beyond him. No, Graham takes the mark. I thought for a moment that kick was intended for Chapman, but Graham judged it superbly. Trail by five, this to regain the lead. One thing for sure, distance will not be a problem. Graham, 40 metres out, wipes it off the boot. Goal. Very good last week, 5-3, 4-5. Fraser with the second attempt, missed it. Not so King, towards half forward. Mooney, hands to it, didn't complete the mark. It falls to Gardner, snaps it back across the body. That works, full forward, Ablett almost. Leads back in the race, made something out of nothing. He didn't control it, he's got the goal. Clement now looks up, has Rocker on at centre half forward. The kick needs to be good, it was just a bit blunt, oh. but a big play there. And Steve Johnson got across in front of Rocker, that was courage. Great play. Hunt, nice kick out wide to Wojcicki on centre wing. Handball's over the top to Ling, who's run forward. Ling now kicking to the pocket to Kingsley, takes the mark. The two behinds kick Kingsley to put the Cats back in front. This one is on its way. It's a goal. The Cats back in front early in the third turn. One bounce through. Sanderson's there. That's twice Collingwood with ill-directed kicks into the forward 50. They've cost themselves in the first minute of this last quarter. Wojcinski now. Clearing kick. Now the Cats are away. Good mark by Bartels. What a night he's having. No one on the mark, so he plays on. Puts it out in front of Gary Ablett. Out comes Cole with him. Cole did well. Intercepted by Didac. Gave him another look at it. Nadler took it. Ling now. Handball's off. The kick now from yeah. Callan. From the 50. Open goal. Squares a goal. And the Cats! Magpies needing to hold here. Chapman slips it away. Ablett, here's trouble. Hand passes across to King. Oh. And the stripper snaps a wonderful goal. His second. Spots a man running towards the wing. That's Riccardi. Goes in that direction. Riccardi at manoeuvres over. He takes the mark. From the previous nine kick-ins for the Cats, they've gone inside forward 56 times. This will be a seventh out of ten now. Milburn wanted to go between the pair of them. He and Corey, they messed it up. Eventually, the hand pass to Corey That's lines up. That is not a mess. That's polish. Goes to ground. O'Brien Lockyer transfers it out to Dynak, who was cleaned up. Beautiful play by the Cats again. Corey Dynak's in trouble. Good courage each way. Johnson got him. He's fixed a few up tonight, Johnson. Terrific finish. Off hands were Woden running out of space. There's the siren on the Cats. You can sense it. Etched on the faces of so many of these young players. They know they're for real. And also a real plus for the club was the performance of Tim, Tim Callan in only second game of footy. And you really seem to be getting some depth now at the club. Well, Tim's another one that really had to fight to get into the team. 
But his late goal mm. uh, in that last quarter running through the middle of the ground and kicking from 50 was, was just, a, a, I suppose, a young person's dream uh, to introduce yourself in the football. Round 16 of